Yo, yo, slap on your gloves, grab your tools of choice, and hey, meet me in your kitchen, y'all. Hey, I want to welcome you back to my channel. I am your man. Keep a cup, can cook. And hey, I know you read that title, so we just going to jump right into the roll call of these ingredients. That's right, for this lamb stew, y'all. All right, first of all, we got some potatoes that we just chopped up you know ain't no real reason make them uniform and that's all i can really tell you celery that we diced up probably about a half an inch on a bias carrots also half an inch on a bias just something that makes it look a little more presentable to you you know what i'm talking about all right we got us some some fresh diced up green onions right here, y'all. All right, I got a tablespoon of um, rosemary and a tablespoon of thyme, fresh, diced up. I got two heaping tablespoons of fresh garlic that I diced up, y'all. I got one small onion rough chopped then I got a, about a quarter cup of all-purpose flour sitting over here y'all hey let's get to the start of the show though that's the lamb chunks right here y'all it's part of the uh, lamb neck right here hey it's very meaty it's tasty haven't had it in a very long time but hey I promise you y'all very good got a lot of flavor coming through this hey make sure you you want some of the fat but i did have to trim some of the fat as well some of it was kind of fatty it has a bone in it y'all so very tasty right here very meaty so what we gonna do right away let me slap on me another glove Cause I ain't wanna touch that raw meat. Hey, wash your meats, y'all. I happen to wash that rubbing it with limes this time. You wanna get you some kosher salt. And you wanna be liberal with it, y'all. You wanna be liberal with it. Get you some salt and go ahead and rub that salt in there. Now, if you could do this a few minutes ahead of time, it's even better to allow that salt to penetrate into the meat and allow those juices to be released and to redistribute it back into the meat. But for the sake of the camera, this is how we gotta do it, yeah. This is how we do it. All right, so we're gonna let that sit to the side for a few minutes. While it's doing this thing, we're gonna bring our pot into the plate. We'll slap a little bit of heat on here. Put a little heat in there, we got it on low. We're gonna hit this up with probably about, let's say three tablespoons of olive oil. No, avocado oil, I'm sorry. Hey, I got me a sprig of thyme right here. I'm just gonna throw that in there. While it's heating up, it's gonna infuse this, this uh, avocado oil with that thyme. And hey, we're gonna have uh, some infused oil in here, y'all. I'm only doing this to allow this salt to penetrate into that meat a little bit longer. And that's how you gotta do it, y'all. That's how you gotta do it. We're gonna go on here and get this moved around just a tad bit. It's still on the screen. You can see it. You can see it. We're gonna bring that Lamb back into play.
We're gonna hit it up with some black pepper, y'all. Go ahead and get that massaged in there. Now I'm gonna hit it up. I just wanna dust it with a little bit of flour. Probably won't need all of this flour. Just wanna dust it, lightly dust it. Now you could do it just the way with the naked meat and not the flour. I just wanna use the flour just to give my gravy, my, my broth, a, a little thickening agent, y'all. That's all I'm doing that for. And it helps to brown it as well. But that's what you want, y'all. Just a light dusting. You don't want to dredge it all in the flour. You just want to lightly dust it. So I'm going to set this off to the side. All right, let's see what this oil is doing. Still on low flame. We're just gonna move this time around in there. We're gonna have us some infused olive oil over here. It's gonna help to bring a little more flavor to this meat. All right, y'all, like I said before, I didn't have this for a very long, in a very long time. I just thought today, man, let me try something that's a little different. Hey, the temperature, we got up to probably about 62 degrees today, but it's rapidly dropping. Hey, as we go into the evening hours, hey, what a better way to spend your evening. That's right, with a big bowl of this lamb stew, y'all. A big bowl of this stew. Yeah, I'm really smelling this time right now. Smelling good up in here, y'all. Even got the kitchen infused with it right now. Loving it. Hey, and if you're loving what you're seeing so far, you already know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, y'all. And subscribe to my channel. I am your man. Keep a cup, keep cool. Oh man, that is good, that is good. Yeah. All right, now we're going to bump it up to a medium high. Just continue to move it around for a few more minutes or a few more seconds. get this out of here you don't want to leave it in there yeah go ahead and remove it it has done its job smelling great up in here I'm loving it now we got the whole pot seasoned y'all got my temp coming up
gonna put on another glove because we about to drop it in, y'all. We about to get this on the move, on the road. You wanna sear these off. Don't skip the step, y'all. Not a whole lot, so we're gonna be able to do this in one batch. But you don't want to crowd your pot. But we're gonna get this in here, y'all. I got this last little piece. And fit that in right there. Looking lovely. Just gonna go ahead and wipe this bowl out of this excess flour. Cause once this is browned off, we're gonna put it right back in this bowl. Right back in that bowl. All right, y'all, you know what the deal is. You know I ain't gonna bore y'all while this is browning off. Hey, when it gets to be browned off, I will bring it back on the camera. Hey, I am your man. Keep a cup, keep cook, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I am your man. Keep a cup, keep cook. And that's right. I am back. Hey, and as you can see, got them seared off real well. All sides, y'all. Sometimes you got to stand them up, prop them up with another piece. Hey, but don't skip this step, y'all. Hey, very important. It sears, it locks in them juices, y'all. Do not skip the step. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and remove them. Back into that bowl. Don't skip, it's a very important step. Don't rush the process, trust it. Trust the process, y'all. You want to develop that color on there. Don't skip it. All right, now, once you got those seared off, you want to move those to the side a little bit. Hey. Still, let's see, we're still working on that medium high, right? All right. We got a nice little flame going. Got some yum yum down in there. That's flavor, y'all. Hey, what we gonna do? I had a, a little piece of butter sitting in my fridge to the side. Hey, I thought maybe it wanted to join the party. So, hey, we already know. Butter makes everything better anyway. So we're going in with that two tablespoons of butter and right away the chopped onion going in. Celery. And the carrots, y'all. We gonna get them moved around and all that lovely butter. Get everything coated, y'all. Get it all coated. 
You got the juices from the lamb. You got that good butter in there, unsalted. And speaking of unsalted, let's hit it up with some salt. We want to help it to release those waters out of them vegetables, y'all. That they begin to caramelize a little bit. That's right, we make a lamb stew today, y'all. When is the last time you had lamb stew? Come on now. Let me know in the comment section. Have you had this before? Sometimes we get stuck on that beef so much. We forget about that little great little thing that's a little bit more healthier for us also. That's right, I'm speaking about that lamb stew. We're going to get it going, y'all. Hey, if you're liking what you see, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, y'all. Hey, and hit that notification bell that you're notified every time your man. Keep a cup can cook is dropping another video on you, y'all. Coming with some fresh stuff. New ideas. Hey, as a matter of fact, speaking of new ideas, if it's anything that you want to see your boy do, hit me up in that comment section, y'all. Believe me, I read them all. We're gonna hit it up with a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. Because we're gonna season this in layers, y'all. We're gonna season this in layers. All right, got me some roasted beef, better than bouillon. We're gonna go in with a tablespoon. Nah, teaspoon. Get that worked in. Allow it to do its thing for a few seconds. While I do my thing for a few seconds. That's right. We're going in with this fresh rosemary and thyme. And the fresh garlic. That's right, we season it in layers. Oh my goodness, the, whoo, the aroma that kicked off of that, my goodness. My, 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 oh my goodness. But these songs just be popping in my head, what is that about? 
Okay, now we're gonna heat it up some tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half, tomato paste. Let's see what I feel like. Alright. Tablespoon and a half. Tomato paste. I can get that top back on. Okay, there we go. We want to get that worked around in there, y'all. That's going to help to thicken it as well. It's going to give it a little color and a little body, y'all. that tomato paste we're gonna cook that tomato off of it let it cook for a couple minutes y'all let it do what it do let it do what it do we got some of these green onions y'all we're gonna hit it up with a little bit right now Just a little bit, okay? About a tablespoon and a half. We're gonna sit that to the side. We're gonna reserve the right and bring it back into play. Man, I'm telling you, smelling good, y'all. I'm liking what I'm smelling. I see it developing right before my very eye. Oh, and right before your very eyes as well. That's right. And you know we about to hit it up. That's right. That red wine, y'all. Hit it up with a cup. That really probably wasn't really even a cup, but we're going to bump this tip. We're going to bump it up to a high. Let me make sure. Because we're going to cook this. We're going to cook the alcohol off. But we're going to leave behind all that flavor. And for y'all that don't consume alcohol, trust me. Hey, if you will allow yourself to cook with it, I promise you, y'all, the alcohol is evaporated off, but the flavor is slamming. Don't deprive yourself of that flavor, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. See what that high temp is doing. First of all, it's getting these vegetables good to go. But we ain't gonna lose our integrity on those. It's cooking off that alcohol and it's thickening my base. Can you see what I'm talking about? And it's smelling scrumptious up in here. I'm telling you, y'all. Once again, and if you like what you see, it give me the thumbs up. That's right. I got a fourteen and a half ounce can. Fire roasted diced tomatoes going in.
Just get those moved around for a quick little second. Cause we coming right behind it. With a little bit of beef broth for now. One and a half cups for now. We want to bring this up to a temp, a high temp. We want it to boil, start simmering, rolling simmer. Just a little dash of honey. I decided not to do sugar. I wanted to do honey. And it's just gonna offset those tomatoes for a little bit. Get the acidy taste out. Not a lot. It ain't nothing that's gonna sweeten the pot. That's right. You already know we're gonna be coming in with this beef broth again, right? Okay, let's just leave that right there. Ah. Hey, while this is coming up to a rolling boil, hey, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean up my workstation, y'all. I'm gonna wash these, hey, keep you some hot soapy water on the ready. I am your man, keep a cup can cook. And I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, we are back. Hey, I am your man, once again. Keep a cup, keep cook. That's right. We working on this lamb stew today, y'all. Hey, I'm telling you, y'all, if you haven't tried this before, hey, do it. Trust the process, y'all. And I'm telling you, y'all, you won't be disappointed. All right, we got it back up to a little rolling simmer. We're gonna introduce these meat back to it. This part of that lamb neck, y'all. I'm telling you y'all, very juicy, tasty, meaty. Try it. Anything else that's accumulated in that pe that bowl, hey, put it on in there, y'all. Put it on in there. Now, as you can see, I still got some potatoes and some green peas. Peas, they were frozen. Hey, get them out that freezer. Let them thaw out a little bit. Hey, reserve them to the side. It's too early to put the peas and the potatoes in because, like I said, you want to keep the integrity of your vegetables, y'all. So, what we gonna do? We're gonna put some more of this beef broth in. You wanna make sure, there it is, submerged. In that good broth. We're gonna bring that temp back to that rolling boil again. Then we're gonna I'm gonna reduce the temperature to a medium, y'all, and we're gonna let it go, probably for an, an hour. Well, it's gonna be before an hour before I come back because we're gonna put them potatoes in, and then towards the end we're gonna put them peas in. Hey. I am your man. 
Keep a Cup Can Cook, and we about to get into a big bowl of lamb stew, y'all. That's right. And with that said, I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, I am back. Hey, we gonna take the veil off of this and always be careful when you do that, y'all. Release, let that condensation drip down and then release your veil all the way. Don't allow that steam to get you, y'all. We're just gonna move this around a little. Oh man, just wanna take a fork. and show you where the tenderness is of your lamb. If y'all could tell. Let me get another piece. That's the bone right there, y'all. Actually, this whole thing seemed like a bone. Let's get another piece. But the meat is getting there, y'all. It's getting there. So, what we want to do. At this point, we're going to introduce these potatoes into the mixture. We're going to get those submerged in there, moved around. Gonna allow it to come back up the temp. We're gonna put the veil back on and we're gonna see you in 30 minutes. I am your man. That's right. Keep a cup can cook. And I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. Hey, I'm your man. Keep a cup can cook. And hey, as promised, I am back. Hey, we get ready to do the final touches on this thing. Hey, we got that lamb stew today, y'all. Hey, if you have not tried this before, I promise you, y'all, it's another game changer right here, y'all. Hey, sometimes we gotta step away from that beef, right? Hey, we got that lamb on deck. Hey, we are gonna crack the veil. Go give it a quick little stir. Oh man. What is it looking like for you right there, y'all? But we still got one more thing to do, y'all. We got the green peas right here. Hey, these were frozen. They sweet green peas. They unthawed out. Ain't gonna take them no time. Actually, we're just gonna dump them in here. We gonna even kill the heat, y'all. And we gonna let the residual heat do what it do, y'all. And as you can see, everything has kept its integrity. I'm loving it, y'all. And hey, if you loving it, you already know what to do. Hit me up with that thumbs up. Hit me up with that thumbs up, y'all. I mean, this is smelling so good. Hey, and look at that broth, y'all. Didn't have to use no corn, star, slurry, or nothing like that. Because why? Yep, I lightly tossed it. Those pieces of lamb in that all-purpose flour, y'all. And it did what it needed to do. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I am your man. Keep a cup, can cook. Hey, I'm telling you, y'all, we get ready to get into it. 
we about to get into it. I'm gonna move this over to the side just a little bit. So I'm gonna bring my plate in, my bowl into play. Now, when the last time you seen them brown and serve rolls, y'all? See, I wanna dip my brown and serve rolls in that good broth. That's right. I'm not a cornbread man. I'm more of a roll man. Now, of course, I cook cornbread for people, but I can tell you, I hardly ever even eat cornbread because I'm a dinner roll man. I'm a dinner roll man. So, we just gonna stir these up. Stir this up just a little bit more because we allowing the residual heat to really penetrate these peas that we had thawed out. These were frozen, y'all. Yeah. Matter of fact, don't use no canned peas in those, in those soups, y'all. Yeah. It'd be too mushy. And I mean, this is looking great, y'all. What is your eyes telling you? If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you're new to my channel, hey, this is your opportunity to subscribe. Subscribe to me, y'all. Hey, and hit that little bell that you're notified. Every time your man Keep A Cup Can Cook is dropping another video on you, y'all. And with that said, let's go in for the platy. Let's go in for the platy. I'm gonna push it off the screen just a little bit. We're gonna move that into the center. Cause this is getting ready to be the star right here. This is getting ready to be the star. some more of that broth in there so I could dunk them rolls come on yeah if you know what I'm talking about hit me up in that comment section y'all yeah. let me know when the last time you had lamb stew oh man oh my goodness y'all and you know, this is too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. Oh man, I was about to, I was about to get into it. But I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it, y'all. Hey, look at that broth, y'all. Look at that broth, y'all. Look how they coats the back of that spoon, y'all. That's what you want. That is what you want. Let's go in for the taste test of at least this broth. Oh, but before I do, be for sure. Subscribe to my channel. Like it. Share it. Tell everybody that you know. And there's another channel out here, y'all. He doing it. And his name is Keep A Cup Can't Cook. Oh, man. And we got that lamb stew today, y'all. Let's go in for the taste test. We're going to blow this broth off first. Mm. Oh, man. Y'all. This is the best I could do for you on screen, y'all. It, it, it's too hot, but I'm gonna tell you, man, the powerful flavors that's busting through here 
is crazy, y'all. I'm telling you. It, oh, man. And then look at the integrity of the, of the potatoes still. Come on. Mm. See that? Mm. Mm -mm. The carrot. Come on now. Mm. Woo. Hey, you know I can't mess with that meat right now, y'all. It's too daggone hot. Hey. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. And hey, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Hey, this is that lamb stew. And hey, you already know what I'm about to do. I'm going to take this to the other room. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit. But I'm still going to blow it a little bit. I'm going to devour it. Then I'm going to take me a, hey, a hiatus and go to sleep for the night. I am your man. Keep a cup, can cook, and I am out. Bye.